Hey YouTube, since the last video I published about clips by Apple, Apple's decided to update it to version 2.0. Nice timing. So this video will cover what's new and just how to create a video with Apple Clips 2.0. Previous video still works fine, just the interface is a little bit different. So let's check it out. When you first open it up, uh, you won't see my face and you won't see your face. You'll probably see a welcome screen from Apple, uh, but I skipped that this time back and didn't get it recorded. But uh, going with the new interface from the top left, you've got your projects window where you can see previous projects that you've uh, created before. One new thing in Cl Clips 2.0 is that there's iCloud syncing. So you're, if you have it enabled to back up to iCloud, your Clips projects will carry over from device to device. So your iPhone to your iPad and back. Um, still no Mac app, but uh, I don't think that's going to be coming anytime soon. So I'm going to create a new Clips project. On the top right, we've got the music tab. There's a whole bunch of new music that's been added. Um, and uh, so we'll cover that in a minute. And then, of course, the camera screen. And below that now is where the uh, camera, library, and posters, which formerly was called titles. So camera operates much the same way. So turn the flash on, flash off, or auto. And you can take a picture. And you can also flip the camera around to shoot out the other side of the camera. There's the library, which allows you to use previously taken photos, videos, um, and then posters, like I said, allows you to add what used to be titles. They've added a new bunch of new graphical elements and then also um, categories and uh, also Star Wars related effects, titles and stuff like that. So I'm going to create a video now that I'm going to post on my Instagram channel updating people about the fact that there's a new video on my YouTube channel. So let's start with, uh, let's use a Star Wars one. Use the opening crawl. So as before, you have to press and hold to include a title in your video. So I think I caught a little bit of the uh, clip in this sort of looping around again. So I'm going to go in, tap on that clip and trim it down a bit. I think, no, oh, where is it now? Let's see, in your video. A little bit less. In your video. Oh, a little bit more. In your video. Perfect. Apply that. I'm going to make sure to turn off my little audio in there and tap done. Now I'm going to go back to the camera and record a little video of myself talking. In my previous video, I talked about how you can use Apple's Clips app to create videos for the web. Apple has since updated it to version 2.0. So I'm going to publish some new videos on my YouTube channel covering what's new in Clips 2.0. So let's see how that looked. We're going to add some live titles. So the text is a little different in terms of how it's laid out, but it gives you a fuller screen of it. In my previous video, I talked about how you can use Apple Clips app to create videos for the web. Apple has, I'm going to put some punctuation and properly title things. Just because I'm particular like that. Create videos for the web. Put a period. Apple has since updated it to version 2.0. Song to publish. Uh, I'm going to have to take a look and see. <laughs> I'll change the style to uh, what I like best, where it has sort of a sentence or so on the screen at a time. In my previous video, I talked about how you can use Apple's Clips app to create videos for the web. Apple has since updated it to version 2.0. So I'm going to publish some new videos. So I'm on publish. Let's go back to the text. 2.0. Period. I'm going to publish some new videos on my YouTube channel covering what's new in Apple in Clips 2.0. <laughs> Almost. It's pretty close. There's another one. In my previous video, I talked about how you can use Apple's, I think I said apostrophe. Might as well get it right, eh? Let's just see how it looks. In my previous video, I talked about how you can use Apple's Clips app to create videos for the web. Apple has since updated it to version 2.0. So I'm going to publish some new videos on my YouTube channel covering what's new in Clips 2.0. All right, that's great. So I'm going to tap on the video again and just trim off the beginning a bit. 
just before the text starts. In my previous video, I talked about how you can use sure Eclipse okay. 2.0. Yeah, there isn't much there. So apply. And what I'll do now maybe is uh, I'm going to tap done, go back at the camera, take a little sad photo of myself and add. So again, in order to add it to the timeline, you have to press and hold however long you want it to actually be on the timeline. So let's say three, four seconds. I'm going to go into the, first of all, I'm going to make sure I mute my audio there. I'm going to go into the effects tab and put a filter on. This is Let's put it enter. There we go. Labels are where we go for some fun labels. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to put a sticker on here. Angry guy from Inside Out. And back on this previous video, I forgot I was going to put, let's put a label of, uh, so this happened. Kind of like it's a news story. And uh, put a filter on there. Let's go with, uh, there's a bunch of new filters. Noir maybe, or silver tone is kind of cool. In my previous video, I talked about how you can use Apple's clips. So he's got a little rage, cool animated sticker. Um, let's do another camera. In the updated video, I'll cover how to create videos like the one you're watching right now. So be sure to check out my YouTube channel. The link is in my profile here on Instagram. And thanks for watching. Okay, so it probably caught me looking up. At, I had a little script going here too. Let's see, live titles. In the updated video, I'll cover how to create videos like the one you're watching right now. So you should, I think I said. Check out my YouTube channel, the link dash the link is in my profile here on Instagram oops I forgot to choose a style let's see in the updated video I'll cover how to create videos like the one you're watching right now so be sure to check out my YouTube channel the link is in my profile so be sure I think I said So be sure to profile here on Instagram and thanks for watching. Put a little, uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. Tap on the clip again, go to live titles. Thanks for watching. Done. And I'm going to trim that again. So go over to trim. Seems to be pretty good on the endings usually. Just gonna watch to make sure. Instagram, and thanks for watching. Yeah. One thing that's new in uh, Clips 2.0 as well is the save clip option at the back, at the end. Uh, it may have been there in the previous version hidden away, but basically you can save a clip that you wanna maybe reuse in multiple projects, maybe like an intro video or an outro video or some funny thing you did, uh, and not have to recreate it each time you put together a project. All right, so now what I'll do, I'm gonna hit done. And I'm gonna put a poster at the end. Do one more Star Wars one just for fun. Press and hold. There. Go back to that. Make sure my audio's off. Trim it if I need to. Perfect. I could put a sticker on some of them you can update text on some of them you can't so uh, let's go like this productions <laughs> gets a little small Not the most readable. I'll just leave it for now though. And check that out. Finally, we need to add some music to the project. 
So like I said, there's a bunch of new music that's been added. on the left side it will be new to you I've already checked out a bunch of them but much winter here so summer is always a good reminder hit apply and let's watch from here. in my previous video I talked about how you can use Apple's clips app to create videos for the web Apple has since updated it to version 2.0 so I'm going to publish some new videos on my YouTube channel covering what's new in clips 2.0 In the updated video, I'll cover how to create videos like the one you're watching right now. So be sure to check out my YouTube channel. The link is in my profile here on Instagram. And thanks for watching. I like the, little, the way the audio nicely fades out wherever you happen to end it. I'm just going to put a little uh, filter. So go back to effects, filters on this one too, just to give it stylistically some difference. Um, let's go dramatic cool. What did I do? Yeah, silver tone probably actually would be good. I mean, for this one, it's kind of showing off, I guess. Dramatic warm, just dramatic. There you go, done. So I'm gonna save this now to my camera roll. Tap the share sheet. You can of course share it to write to profiles or on Instagram or wherever you want to email it to or add it to a notes project, etc. I'm just gonna save it to my camera roll. Nice part about saving it to your camera roll is then you can just share it wherever you want to. You don't have to decide right now and make sure it's shared properly. So that's Apple Clips 2.0. Hopefully answered any of your questions that you might have about how to use the app. If you have some more questions, feel free to throw them in the comments below and I'll answer them in a future video. You can uh, subscribe to my video by clicking over there and watch another video from my channel over here. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye. In my previous video, I talked about how you can use Apple's Clips app to create videos for the web. Apple has since updated it to version 2.0. So I'm going to publish some new videos on my YouTube channel covering what's new in Clips 2.0. In the updated video, I'll cover how to create videos like the one you're watching right now. So be sure to check out my YouTube channel. The link is in my profile here on Instagram. And thanks for watching.